Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Um, another reveal video. Yeah, they're coming out thick and fast. Well, I'm telling a lie. I This is a pair, okay? Bandai's X-Wing and A-Wing, both in 148 scale. And you're thinking to yourself, hang on, they don't make the A-Wing in 148. Well, they don't. So he, here is the story. Uh, I finished the A-Wing last year before I moved my office into these new digs. And in the process, I lost the canopy. Now, fortunately, they provide you with two canopies in the um, in the kit, but I lost that canopy as well. <laughs> so I had to buy another kit, um, and so I've done that. And at the same time, I had assembled, but not uh, and painted, but not weathered the X-wing. And I decided, well, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'll finish them up so I can get me get my focus onto onto other things. So that's what I've done. And oh, other side up there is a couple of. Um, sneak peeks of the finished article and then we'll get back and I'll talk about what I actually did. Now, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Um, anybody can tell you that. I'm not the ultra <laughs> ones. I mean, I have I've written a bit of fan fiction as I've talked about in another video, but I don't do all the dress ups and that sort of stuff. Not yet. I hope Heidi's not watching this, though, than my wife. <laughs> anyway, Star Wars, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and when I started modeling, which is only four or five years ago, uh, Bandai had just started to re release some of um, the, the new Star Wars stuff and wow, you know, for a beginner modeler it was fantastic, this stuff went together like a dream, it's basically all snap fit and you know, I'm, and as they released them I bought them and I built them and I expanded my, you know, ability to make them and really fell in love with them because the fact that they were doing all the old stuff, the, um, the original series. So I bought the um, couple of Stormtroopers, I made the speeder bike, that was fun. Did that in a day, I think, May 4th, a couple of years ago. Uh, I mean, they just go together so well. And then they brought out a couple of 172 things, and I thought, oh, okay, 172, that's not too bad. It's a little bit small. I'll just wait. And then they brought out a couple of 148 scale kits, which is not only the, uh, the snow speeder, which uh, my son has upstairs and is flying around with it uh, at the moment. And the chicken walker, the ATST, which was, um, I'll see if I can find a photo, I'll put it up there. And that was a real fun build, even though I made one a bit too panzer grey. I, I didn't go as far as put a Balkan Krauss on it or a swastika, but let's not get into that. <laughs> so I thought, great, 148 scale, that's a better scale. And I was into 148, and I, I still am basically, for, for some, some subjects, they're, they're really quite big, that scale. But they didn't really bring anything else out. They just went... Full hog, they did all the Rebels, they did all the TIE Fighters in 172 scale. And I never got around to getting any of them. I think I bought a couple, looked at them, and thought, no, nah, it's too small for me, sold them off. Anyway, what happened was they brought out a premium edition X-Wing in 148 scale after they'd done it in 172. So, hmm, here's the precedence. They're going to do all the little scales and then they'll do the big scales. And, of course, I bought it, had to buy it, and, and uh, you know, it's gone up quite a lot in price since then. It's a very expensive kit because it's a moving kit. It's, it sort of straddles the, is this a toy, is this a model? Because it's got lights and it's got, you know, it's got an engine in it and so forth. I, I think I might shoot a little bit of video later to show you what it can do, which is all well and good, you know, we're all kids at heart. I mean, Star Wars is for 10 to 12 year old, 10 to 12 year olds, not for 40 plus year olds. And uh, where was I? Yeah, so they brought that out. And I thought, great, they're going to bring out, um, you know, all the, all the other favourites, you know, A-Wing, Y-Wing, TIE Interceptor, all those ones in 148 scale, and they never did. They've moved on and they're doing all the stuff for the sequels, for Force Awakens, Last Jedi. And for the larger stuff, uh, which I'll show you in a second, they brought out the, you know, they did the Falcon in, in 1144 scale. Here's mine, I did a couple of years ago, okay, which is a good scale for that sort of, you can see the size, you know, next to my fat head. It's a good size for the amount of detail that it's got. And um, yeah, but they never never returned to that scale. So I was like, I was really disappointed. So I um, went online and I found a couple of nerds had done all the measurements of the of the A-Wing. And they reckoned that what has happened between when, I think just before Dis Disney bought out Lucasfilm and of course the original series, somebody stuffed up the, the length, the actual how long, the canon reel, <laughs> A-Wing is. Now if you look at any of the pictures in Return of the Jedi, compare it next to an X-Wing, it's a lot smaller. Even in the map paintings or the models they use on screen, 
it's half the size of an X-Wing, okay? It's not three quarters of the size, it's not anywhere near it. So if I recall correctly, an X-Wing is about 12 meters, 40 feet long, and in the accepted dimensions now, which Bandai went off, it's nine meters long, which, or 9.6 I think, which is 30 something feet, which is ridiculous. If you, you know, when you look at them side by side, they just look ridiculous. So when they brought out the 172, some nerds online, yeah, me too. <laughs> we put a you know ruler over it and we worked out, hey, this thing is actually closer to 150th, 154th, I think was a figure. It all depends, okay? Because it's it's close enough to 148 that we can call it that, okay? And it's great quality, what have you. And when you see the pilot, the 172 pilot inside the A-wing cockpit and the Bandai kit, it's ridiculous. It's tiny. It's compared to the anyone who's seen the original, you know, the Return of the Jedi, the whole the whole head makes up the entire firewall behind the pilot's head, okay? And when you see the 172, it, it's barely a third. So yeah, long story short, I was gonna build a 148 scale A-wing and that's what I've done. I've um, got the backseat pilot out of the snow speeder, chucked him in the, in the, uh, in the 172 A-wing cockpit, see if the size is about right. It's about right. And it was basically just a case of just a little bit of surgery, just, Thinning the cockpit walls a little bit, making the seat a bit bigger, just by you know thinning it out and, and taking the floor out underneath it, and I think I had to take out a peg or two underneath where the, the seat just snaps fits into the into the pan. That was it. It was a very very easy conversion. So yeah, that was done. And as I said, I did that last year, and I'm just catching up to it now. So hopefully you can see both of them uh, together in a minute. Uh, the only thing to talk about the X-wing. <laughs> superlative kit and it would be for that sort of price it was amazing quality it snaps together didn't use a skerrick of glue there's no need for it the leds work fit in perfectly all the parts fit perfectly i can't say anything wrong about that kit it's as good as or maybe even better than their 144 scale millennium falcons which i consider to be you know the best kit that i've made so far so i bought another one <laughs> and that'll be my next reveal hopefully soon i'm doing the last jedi millennium falcon um and for both of them, I used my same weathering technique because there is a bit of a question about the plastic quality of the, the Bandai plastic that if you use enamels or heavy sort of mineral spirits based um, weathering products and you let that go in between panels, they can't gas out properly and they make all the, the plastic brittle. If you seal, if you glue all everything together and so all the plastic becomes bonded, it's not a problem. But um, just the way, particularly A-Wing, and all, all of them really, because they've got the multi-coloured panels, I just found it easier just to paint and weather the panels separately and then just snap fit it together at the end. It's just so much easier than, than the traditional aircraft method of gluing everything together, priming, masking, painting, demasking, masking again, painting, etc, etc. So the technique I use is very simple. You just get rid of enamels, you use ink washes, clay washes, and you just rely on dry oils, not very wet oils. And if you're gonna use any wet oils on a surface, it's not inside a panel. And that's that. So, long story short, here's a review of photos and uh, of my pair of 148 uh, A and X wings. And um, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.